Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my kids' Easter basket. So if you enjoy this type of content and other homeschool and lifestyle content, please remember to subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, just a little background information first to help you out. So I have kids ranging from 12 to 7 months. They go boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. <laughs> And the, the oldest four are really close together and then there's a five year gap and then the youngest two are really close together. And so the way my husband and I have decided to do Easter baskets, and you will know this if you have seen past Easter basket videos from me, is to have them a little bit more focused on Christ in the basket itself. And then usually we do something that we have to do together as a family. And for us, that usually is games because we can use those for homeschool. And so I'll usually get a bunch of different games that we can use for homeschool. And we work together as a family on those. I grew up in a family where Easter was focused on getting gift a gift, like usually one big thing or a few little things that were family oriented and not just for the individual. So that's kind of what we have continued to do with our family. And that's what I will be showing you today. So my older boys and girls are getting the same things, like the older girls and the older boys are getting the same thing. So I'm gonna show you what they're getting. So first of all, my boys, I found these really cool bracelets. They came in a nice box on Amazon. So what I can link, I'll link down below. And I just really like them. It was supposed to be, it's like a mom to son gift. They also had ones for spouses and for like your love or something like that. <laughs> and so I thought these were cool. They came in three different sizes, you know, so if you're getting them for a child, a teenager, or an older male, <laughs> then you might need a bigger bracelet. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is still trying to recover from being sick. And so I got one of these for each of them. My oldest is on the autism spectrum. And so getting stuff for him, especially stuff that's a little bit more like churchy or Christ centered is sometimes a little bit difficult. <laughs> And so I don't know if he'll actually wear this, but I just got him and his brother the same thing. So again, I just really like this and it does come with a little message in there that I thought was really sweet. And so those, I got two of those for them. And then the other thing that I got for them that's a little bit more like church or Christ oriented is this tie pin. It's going to be hard to see right here. I don't even know if I'll be able to get it to focus on that all the way, but it says called to serve. And so helping them remember to prepare for being missionaries and stuff. So that's what they will have that's a little bit more centered on Christ in their basket. And then I also usually get something that requires them to build. I'm not one for all the, the little basket fillers, you know, like go in the store and like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause then I just want to throw it all away anyways, within two seconds of having it in my house. And so I try to get something they can build. And so in the past that's looked like some small Lego sets or whatever that come in eggs. I just kind of see what's available in either Walmart, Hobby Lobby, it just kind of depends where I'm at. This year, this is what I saw was these little eggs. These ones were from Walmart. And so they have some of these building shapes already, but I just thought the idea was cute and they're some different fun colors. So all of them will get one of these eggs in their basket. Well, all my four older kids, not my, not my two year old or my baby, but the older kids will all get that. And then I did get them a few treats. And so I try to not to go overboard on treats. Everyone has different ideas about this, <laughs> but I also, they don't get treats a whole lot. So I try to give them something. So I got them a bunny. This one has peanut butter in it. So I thought that might be fun for them. And then I got some Sour Patch, like watermelon jelly beans. So I'll put these and these jelly beans in eggs and just set them in their baskets. And then also these ones, because these are just classic. <laughs> okay, they're Reese's peanut butter eggs. And so I got those. So each of them will get that. So that's basically what's going in my older boys baskets. And then for my girls, it'll be all the same, like with the, the egg and the treats, but then they have a few different things. They like jewelry <clears throat> and my seven year old was asking when she could have a necklace or a bracelet or something. So I was like, okay, maybe we'll go with that for, for Easter. And so this again, super cute box. <laughs> These are all just from Amazon, but this is the bracelet and it 
has a choose the right on there. I, can, I don't know if you can see it, but it says CTR, which stands for choose the right. And so I got each of them a bracelet and it's adjustable, you know, so that what, as their wrists get bigger, they can still wear it. And then I also got each of them one of these necklaces that says, I am a child of God. And then it has this cute little heart that's also part of the necklace. So I thought that was cute and a little different. They had a CTR one as well, but I didn't want to have a CTR bracelet and a CTR necklace. And so I was like, okay, we'll go with this bracelet and this necklace. And so that's what they're going to be getting in their baskets. Okay. And then for my toddler, I got a few different things for him. I did not get him one of these eggs, even though he would love the egg itself. These little pieces, he's pretty good about not putting stuff in his mouth, but they would just end up everywhere and they're really small. So I don't think he could really put them together. And so I saw this little puzzle guy at Walmart and this will still be hard for him to put together, but I actually have several of these types of puzzles, either from Target or from Walmart that we use still for preschool as my kids, as he gets a little bit older and as my kids have been that age, because it has all the numbers. And so when they're learning the numbers, I'll just write them down in order and they'll put them together in the way they're supposed to. And it just helps them to practice. So I thought this would be fun for him and we can help him with that. And then the other thing that I got for him, again, just something simple, but a little bit more Christ-centered, I saw this on Amazon. This is a Bible coloring dot book. And so it just has some Bible stories in it that are ABCs. So, you know, like H and then it has heaven right here. And so to go along with this, because we no longer have dot, dot markers. I used to when I had my older kids were younger, but since I've had some little kids again, I don't. So I just got some dot markers to go along with that. So that's what will be in his. And then I wasn't going to get anything for my baby because like she doesn't care. She's seven months old. You might be able to hear her right now. She's kind of grumpy. She's now with my husband, but um, she's not normally grumpy. She's just grumpy today. <laughs> and <clears throat> so I was at Sam's Club and I saw just some clothes. And really that's like the most helpful thing for her right now is clothes. She's not going to care about anything else. And so I just got these Carter sets. I thought they were cute and she's humongous. So these are size 12 um, or 12 months or whatever. So there's just the two different ones that have a couple outfits that can be made out of them. So those are the things that are going to she doesn't even have a basket. <laughs> Those are the things that'll probably just be sitting on the table for her because she just doesn't care right now, but maybe my kids will. And so I thought it might be fun just to have something for her. <laughs> all right. So now the games, this is like the biggest part of it for us. I set them all out on the table around the baskets. It's very exciting. And so I do have one game that I ordered kind of last minute that's supposed to get here today, but I had to get this video filmed. And so it is not here yet. And it's a Tetris game, like in real life, <laughs> Tetris, not on your phone or whatever. And I'm like, Oh, this is cool. I've never like played Tetris that way. I saw somebody on Instagram maybe with the game. And I was like, Oh, we need to try that. It was like one of her favorites. Maybe it was Lily eats and tells it might've been on hers anyways. And so I ordered that. So that will also go with it. And I think four people can play and I'll link that one down below too, even though I don't have it to show today. And then a few of these things I got way before Christmas, I think when there was cells and they just looked cool. So some of them are a little bit for my younger kids, some are for my older kids and kind of in between. So the first one is the STEM Explorers magnet movers. And this has been in my closet for a long time, <laughs> but it's ages five plus. But I think my toddler will also like this. Magnets are just fascinating for kids and so fun. And this, you know, he can work to Together with one of my older kids to do it. So there's some different experiments, some different things they can do in here and learning recess re resources is always good, obviously, because I have another thing from them. So this one, I'm like, I didn't even remember I had this. So this is a gem rock and gem surprise. I was like, look at that. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. But again, I got it on a cell or something back in probably October or November. So this is three plus. This will be a little bit better suited for him, but you get a crack open the gems and discover what's inside. So these ones aren't, they're a little bit more STEM oriented, right? Not as much as game oriented. And then I got Ubongo, which I might regret. We have the 
I don't know if it's called 2D, but the regular original version, this is 3D. And so you're actually like the pieces that you're building with are three dimensional instead of you're just building it on a flat surface. And my kids already fight. They fight about a lot of games. <laughs> That's why we try to keep playing them so that hopefully they won't fight. Sorry, my baby is screaming. <laughs> she's having troubles going to the bathroom. So she's really sad today. Anyway, and so <clears throat> this is, we're going to try this one out and we'll see how it goes. They just get frustrated that somebody's cheating because they get it faster than somebody else. And in reality, nobody's cheating. It's just some of them are just easier puzzles to get done. You know, so it kind of, it looks like this and you'll get a little puzzle to make. And this one, like I said, instead of just pushing, putting the pieces flat, you're going to have to build them with these three dimensional shapes. Maybe that'll be easier. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see. So I thought, we try that out and then these other ones are a lot of math these are heavy <laughs> math type stuff so this is bingo my kids love playing bingo it's a great like friday activity for us because friday is a day where we don't do a lot of book work it's more just kind of games or learning in the kitchen or things like that and so this is bam bingo so this one's multiplication and division and then ooh, i'm gonna drop it this one is addition and subtraction. So those are the two that I got because this will cater a little bit more to my younger kids, like, well, my seven-year-old. And then once my toddler is older and stuff, my older kids can still do this, but they'll be, they'll be way faster at it than she is. And then also multiplication just to help them. And then I got a few more math games. I got decimal war and then, which this is good because decimals are kind of tricky, even for my older kids, like trying to figure out which ones are bigger and, you know, carry Like you look at the bigger, like the, what am I trying to say here? You know how it carries out places. So this is what the hundredths, this isn't the hundredths tens, hundreds, thousands place. And so looking at the both of them and seeing which one's bigger is kind of tricky. It's like putting things in ABC order when they all start with the same thing and the next letter is the same. Trying to figure out which one comes first is sometimes a little bit tricky. So I thought this might help them practice a little bit. And then fractions as well. These are both a little tricky. So these are just things to help them play more and be able to recognize it. So when they're doing their math, it'll hopefully be a little easier. And then I got one more like language artsy type of game. So this is called Muddled. It says it's for eight to 99 years old. So anybody can play it really, except little, little kids. <laughs> So think fast and scrabble faster. Every second counts. And so I have never played this game. I hopefully will like it. I don't know. It's just kind of little. So I'm excited about that. And so those are the games that I got for my kids. Again, they love this. They love looking at the games. And then we usually will play some of them on Easter Sunday or we'll play them throughout the week. And it's just very exciting for them. So those are all the Easter things. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the crying baby in the background who's very sad today. And she is being taken care of. She's just very sad. And I hope you enjoyed all these things. I will try to link down below everything that I can. And please put down in the comments what you like to do for Easter. Do you like more Christ-centered things? Is it a little bit more just practical things? Is it just whatever you feel like? Whatever you see in the store. I'd love to hear your comments. Make sure you keep them nice. Otherwise, I will get rid of them. <laughs> and remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.